do with how sensational my story is. It is sensational. It is. But I I don't want people to look at me or that as sensational. I look at it as miraculous. Right. I'm sitting here alive today because of the miracle work of Jesus. And he had to stop doing miracles. He's still doing them. Nope. Yeah. And and you and I get to see people come to Christ all the time, and and I I'm just beyond thrilled that this podcast uh, and that we were able to hook this up today. And what uh, I like I, about the podcast is maybe 20 people listen to this one in a year from now, a thousand people yeah. may have because when you listen to a podcast and you find one you like, you go back yeah. and listen to the early ones. Yeah. And somebody's going to hear the story and they're going to say, you know, I'm I'm a drug dealer, I'm an addict, yeah. I'm a yeah. You know, I'm a thief, and they're not, and they're going to realize that that doesn't matter. This That's theme right. on my podcast is Brennan Manning over and over again. That God oh, loves I love you as you Manning. are, and not as you should be. And That's right. It, God loved the, the. You were like a bank. You know, I think you knew how to safe cracker. They called it. I know your kids always wanted you to teach them how to pick locks. Uh, no way. Yeah, I know, I, we, we, <laughs> and uh, you know, you can be any of those things in your physical identity. That's not your kingdom identity. But God loves you in that place. He, he yeah. comes to you with love and he says, I'm loving you where you are. And, and it's hard for our human brains to get that. Um, you know, when, that's, yeah. when I first got married, this is a true story. Darlene, every time she'd look at the newspaper and see a bank robbery, she would check to see if the picture was me. <laughs> and I said, Darlene, I am not going back to prison for $20,000. That ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to live as a free man. That's what God made me. And uh, I, I laugh at it now, but, you know, I I still, I, I look back and, you know, a lot of the safes that I cracked were in public supermarkets. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they had the easiest safe to open ever. It was like opening a butter dish. <laughs> and uh, finally, they changed all their safes after uh, I... Pu- you're like the guy from uh, Catch Me If You Can. The FBI yeah, used him yeah. to stop. Now Publix is like, yeah, we're going to use this guy to change yeah. our safes. Yeah, well, they changed it. And uh, now they have some of the most impossible safes to open. And so if any got any thoughts about Publix, forget it. <laughs> uh, 